Before I started Project Gabriel, I um, was in a very dark period of my life. I ended up in a very abusive relationship and I was really at a point where I was waiting to die. I felt hopeless and I was praying to God to, to give me some kind of lifeline or some kind of way out of my situation and I ended up getting pregnant. Debbie and Kevin were my Gabriel angels and they are now both of my children's godparents and um, they've had a great influence on my life. CPLC, they, they helped me with all my baby supplies and cribs and baby clothes and it just would have been a different story, I know that. I think it, it probably would have ended, ended pretty tragically. But when you have a program like GEMS out there that can provide support and when she graduated she was so proud. Sometimes I think uh, when people are in similar positions that uh, if they have a chance to succeed at something, sometimes people just need a jump start and I feel like that's kind of what GEMS did for Monica. Josh was a friend of a friend and he knew me. We met on a couple of occasions. We ended up um, starting to talk again, and he just started becoming very involved in my life, and we fell in love, and then um, he fell in love with Liam. He loves Liam. He actually adopted Liam, so Liam is now his, and we're all Roberts, so that's good. <laughs> it's night and day difference. I can't, I don't even feel like the same person. I really don't. I, I get chills thinking about where I was, you know, just three, four years ago. I mean, they've been completely involved in my life as far as like giving me the tools I need after I have the baby. It's not just pro life, it's for the rest of your life. The mission does not stop just at the time that the baby is born. We have to care, we have to love, we have to demonstrate our love for um, the mothers, the fathers, and the the new life that has been given to us. My earliest memories, as far back as I can remember, is you know on Saturday mornings going with my parents to pray the rosary in front of the abortion centers. I kept telling my mom that I wanted to be a sidewalk counselor and I wanted to talk to the women that were going into the abortion center. And um, my mom didn't want me to. She told me I was too young and that was something for adults. So I made up a game called Sidewalk Counselor Barbie. And I would pretty much practice with my Barbie dolls all the time of, you know, what I would say to somebody that was going into an abortion center. Ironically, the first girl that I was able to talk to was a girl who was coming out after having had her abortion. I remember as she was coming out, just looking into her eyes and seeing so much sadness and so much emptiness and so much brokenness and um, all my speeches that I had practiced with my Barbie dolls just kind of went out the window and I remember I just looked at her and I was like we love you so much and it was, sounded kind of cheesy but she just broke down and started crying and I just felt like she needed that love and acceptance so much and um, at that moment my heart really changed and I realized that the babies are not the only victims of abortion I realized that so many young men and women in my age group are being affected by this tragedy the support of a CPLC gave me the opportunity to show people God's love for them. And I know that sounds general, but there are so many people here in this community, here in Dallas, who don't know their own dignity and worth. Rachel Ministries changed my life uh, in the most profound way. Um, I was directionless in my life. I had gone through many heartaches and trials, um, including divorce, um, other things that impacted my life as well as abortion. And I was really spiraling deeper and deeper down into the abyss. And it was through Rachel Ministries that I found healing from that, that pain, um, from that sin, the sin of abortion. And through that, my whole life changed. My whole life opened up. Um, there was hope, there was peace. Um, not just with me, but then extended out to my family. Um, it was just God's answer to my, to my pain. I really felt called to um, volunteer for Rachel's Vineyard and for the local ministry here in Dallas um, probably about six months after the retreat. 
and when the time was right, um, I called and, and asked, how, how can I help? How can I become involved? How can I give back to this organization that gave me so much? We've gone from just over 500 Moms Choosing Life two years ago to the last two years, 841 and 869 in a single year. We're so grateful. Uh, we're just so grateful for the fruits that, that are being born in the lives of men and women and young people here in Dallas and far beyond Dallas. We, we, we never could have conceived that, that He had such a plan for us and we give all praise, honor, and glory to Him. 